guys, so today I'm going to be making Japanese fruit pies for our Thanksgiving dinner and banana pudding. It's the one thing I am requested to make every year. Uh, if that says anything about my cooking, you let me know. <laughs> The first set of pies out those were made practically almost like the recipe and I say like that because you can totally customize this recipe to whatever your family preferences is my family personally doesn't like a lot of raisins so the recipe calls for half a cup I don't put that in there I put less than that and they like more pecans so I add more pecans again if your family doesn't like pecans switch it out for whatever but this year I got a request to, if I could uh, make an additional pie that doesn't have the coconut or the raisins, it's just a pecan pie basically. And so that's what these second pies are. They're about to go in the oven now. Hey guys, instead of just randomly throwing in a clip and starting the vlog, I figured I'd give a little backstory about what happened prior to all this. Um, perhaps I should have filmed it, would have been more interested, but being that I was pretty ticked off in the moment, probably the best thing I went in vlogging. So, Thanksgiving. It was very eventful for me. To say that it wasn't would be a complete lie. Um, <laughs> it started off fairly good. I woke up at like 8 that morning and I was like, Check me out, getting up early, because I am not an early person in the least. And I was like, all right, I am up early. I'll get to the family house in time, you know, because we're supposed to be there at 1230. I'll get there early, and everybody be like, damn, look at her getting here early. And so, patting myself on the back, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm so early. I can go get the grandmas something else for their birthday as well. I had already got them a card because the one grandmother, her birthday was Thanksgiving Day this year, and the other grandmother, her birthday was the day prior. And I'd already got them cards, but something else came to mind that I could get them, and I was like, okay, I'll go to Walmart and grab it and get it together to put to make and um, bring it to them for Thanksgiving. Well, that was the plan. <laughs> that did not happen. I get to Walmart, and then my car dings to let me know that the tire pressure is low. Now, it's been hot in Louisiana for a while, and it's just slightly starting to cool back up, so I was like, that's what it is. No, it had 26 pounds of pressure in it, and it's supposed to be like 38. <laughs> so I drive to the automotive center now, and park my car, and by the time I get over there, it's done dropped to 16 pounds. Now, I'm like, yeah, it, it can't go nowhere else. So I'll go in to the tire center, and there's no one there. Finally call someone and ask them, you know, can I get a tire? And they're like, well, we can't put it on for you. And I'm like, well, I'm not asking you to. I just need a tire because I don't have a spare in my on my tire because apparently I got run flat tires. So, and when you got that in a mini, they don't give you the spare, blah, 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 whatever. So I was like, I just need a tire. And they're like, well, they're not going to come in till 12. And even still, I don't think they're open today. And I'm like, oh, Thanksgiving, yes. I get to thinking about it, and everywhere is closed. I cannot get a tire from anyone. <clears throat> so, I call the roadside that I have with my car, and they say, okay, we'll get a tow truck out. And then, the catch is, it can only be towed to a dealer. Can't be towed anywhere else. And, because I have a Mini, my closest dealership is like 33 and a half hours from me. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, 
But I've done started the ticket, and I'm like, I'd rather go on and have them come tow it. And, like, why would I have them tow it that far, just far flat? Because I wanted to keep my warranty intact. I didn't want to screw up anything with the warranty. I had the tires under warranty, so why should I pay for a tire when it's under warranty? And it will be warrantied. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, obviously, it is Thanksgiving Day. There is no tow truck that's going to come get the car on Thanksgiving Day. So, I get all my stuff out of the car, lock it up, leave it at Walmart... And luckily, it's in my hometown, so I can call a friend to come pick me up and do whatever I need with another vehicle at the time. Get to Thanksgiving at the family house. By now, after all the paperwork and everything has been processed, and you know, things take time. Now I'm an hour late to Thanksgiving. I was going to be an hour early. Now I'm late. Well, get to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving went great. Uh, fantastic time hanging out with family taking pictures all that good stuff well i'm sitting on the couch after a lot of people have done left and something just tells me check your email so i get to looking and what is in the inbox but an email from the mini baton rouge location that they're going out of business i can't make this stuff up you guys only me and the last day they're going to do warranty work is on Black Friday. And so I look at my mom because the, my mom was the one that was going to take me back to the car after everything was situated. Um, otherwise, I'd have to get a rental car, which would have been fine. But it's my mom. She didn't mind. So I'm looking at her and I'm like, I really need to tell them to tow it to another dealership. Because I cannot depend on, not that I can't depend on the tow people, but things take time. And by the time they get the car and get it down to Baton Rouge, will they get it there in time? Will they still be open? And if not, it's going to roll into Saturday and they're not going to warranty stuff. They've done said that. So I was like, yeah, best thing is just to get it going to another dealership altogether. Again, this whole time you're probably thinking, why are you doing that for a flat tire? Again, warranty. I don't want to void my warranty. Yeah, so... <laughs> We end up going to Conroe, Texas, and that dealership is phenomenal. It reminds me of the Little Rock, Arkansas location before they closed it. I was so pissed when they closed the Little Rock, Arkansas location because I loved it. They kept you up to date just like the Conroe location. They called me when the car came in. They um, called me when my keys arrived because I'm getting there. I'm getting there. They, call, they kept me informed every step of the way, and I was like, oh, you remind me of my Little Rock location. I love you. Why can't the Baton Rouge location do that? I see why you close in Baton Rouge. I see. Uh, <laughs> but, so, all that transpired. Get up Friday morning to call the dealership in Conroe and ask you know, do they need my keys? Because I was hoping they had like a universal remote type of thing. Apparently, if they do, they can't tell you, obviously, but they claim they don't have one. So I had to UPS next day air, early saver, the keys so they would have them Saturday morning because by the time they got the car Friday, even if I had left in a good enough time, there was no way possible I would have arrived at the dealership Friday before they closed. Uh, because, like I said, I had to rope my mom in. By the time everybody got situated and ready to go, we would just barely be making it. And I didn't want to risk anything happening, traffic being what it is. I didn't want to risk anything, just barely making it. So I was like, oh, I guess I will have to UPS the keys. But... They got the keys. We went there. It was a fine. It was a fantastic dealership. No issues with them. I am back in the car. So, all that long story, too late. Uh, my mom just realized where I got that from. <laughs> she was like, I wish you'd never seen that movie. Do you know what movie it's from? Let me know down in the comments. But, I wanted to explain all that. That's everything that happened before Black Friday. Now, the footage you're about to watch is me shopping at, spoiler alert, shocker, God knows, can she shop anywhere else? Torrid. <laughs> but I can't help that the only plus size Thor to really shop at is Torrid. That's all I got around here. Like, I do have Lane Bryant, but I don't do Lane Bryant anymore. One, they're overpriced, which not that Torrid ain't overpriced either. But, 
Lane Bryant's more dressy, classy, work appropriate, and Tort's more quote unquote youthful, um, trendy, allows you to be more open. It's not as professional, I guess. Like they do have professional pieces, but it's more to it than that. So, sorry, all you ever see me shopping in is Torrid, but there you go. Oh, I ain't kidding. I really did buy that jacket. I'm wearing it today. Well, it's a good thing I had it in the car because it is cold today. Obviously, I'm back in Torrid. <laughs> they got, you know, their sale of 40% uh, off regular price, 50% off clearance. Came back because. 50% off clearance. Guess who's getting that jacket now? If you recall in that last tour video, I loved this jacket. I wore it with that green sparkly dress, mermaid dress, and I loved it. But this is in clearance and it's still $54. I thought it was 30 something. I just looked at the tag again. It's 54 something. But now that clearance is 50% off, I can, I, I can pay 25 for this. I'm okay with 25 on this blazer jacket thing. That's a good price. 54 on clearance? Who are you kidding? This is a 4X. It is definitely oversized. But again, thinking either a night shirt or a workout shirt. Um, it says, since it was yours, the Breakfast Club. Uh, Again, it's 25 in clearance. Today, 50% off. Good deal. Okay, as I was taking this shirt off, I realized this shirt is in clearance. And it's $19 in clearance. So, 20 bucks, half off, 10 bucks for this shirt. Uh, it was originally going to be a no because it was too big. But again, I thought it was regular priced. And I was like, am I going to pay you full price for an oversized t-shirt? But now that I know this is in clearance, this is a yes. It's cute, but it, it's not for me. It's a little sheer. Um, and I don't like my arms, so I'd have to figure out something to wear on top of this. And it, it's just not worth the trouble. Nothing new yet, just normal me. I wanted to show you. I bought these pants like two months ago from Kato's. They are a 16, I think. Yeah, they're 16. Anyway, they fit perfectly when I got them, and I am happy to report they are too big now. So, got some more jeans. I'm gonna try them. I wanted to show you what my current jeans look like on. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay, they fit. You know, they're not too terrible. However, they are definitely long. So, as per usual, online, I have to get my jeans. Otherwise, the jeans are perfect. They fit. They're nice. But they might be a little loose. I might could size down to a 14. Just, I don't know. Maybe then, though, it would be a little too snug for my personal preference. But these are definitely too long. <laughs> Jean option number two. Still, they're too long. But they fit fabulously. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. I just need petites. Okay, I know I've tried this one before in the past, but I'm a little different than I was before. Uh, still don't like it though because of the length. The pants are not too wide for once, but the length. I wish it was just a little longer. I don't like pants hidden right at my ankle. Uh, but overall, it's, it's alright. We have pockets. Dig that. But I don't really care for this. Where this is, but where's my thumb out here? <laughs> no, it's a no. Okay, this dress is so adorable. It is amazingly soft. However, it's going to be a no for me, unfortunately. One, I'm not thrilled with the cap sleeve. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's okay, but we know who I am about the arms. Secondly, 
I love the neckline. However, I'd have to wear like a strapless bra or something because my bra all are basically like this and they would show as it is showing right now. It's adorable though. I love it. It's got a little bit of a weight to it. It has slip underneath. Yeah, ignore the socks, okay? But it doesn't pass my set test. I can very much feel my bellies out. So, as adorable as it is, it's gonna be enough. Okay, so I went back out and got this in a three because I just loved it so much in that two, but it is definitely big uh, going up. <laughs> um, Mike could work with it, but it, it, the top, <laughs> it's not gonna work. So it would have to be that too, unfortunately, and I'm just, I'm not comfortable in it. All right, look who came back out to play. I, I just, I, when I was editing the video, I kept looking at the dress and I was like, Stacy, that dress, why didn't you get it? So, the development with this dress. After that video, I went back and, you know, that one was in an 18 and then I went back and I got a 16. Tried it and I still didn't like it. I was like, there's a reason you didn't get it. So, come today, picked up a 14, which is this guy back here. Still too big. I was going to try 12. They didn't have one in stock. This is a 10. Never in my life have I worn a 10 in a dress. But it's because of this paneling here. I'm sure of it. And plus this is super stretchy. So we do pass my little test. So with this being 40% off today, I think I'm gonna get it. This shirt I got for free at Torrid. When you spend $75, you're supposed to get this shirt for free while supplies last. Almost didn't get this shirt because the girl acted like she didn't want to give it to me. And I'm like, I spent over a hundred bucks. I'm supposed to get the shirt. I see the shirts lined up behind you. You have plenty of shirts. So why are you not, why are you being chinchy? You know, it's not like they're your shirts. I don't understand companies that do that. Like you'll go to Ulta or Sephora or places like that or anywhere in particular. And anytime it says, you know, buy this, get this free or blah, blah, blah with proof of purchase. And I'm like, just give it up. It's not yours to keep. I'm supposed to get it. Give it to me. Why do I have to ask you for what is supposed to be mine to start with? Anyway, not that I care really that much about the shirt, but it's the principle of the matter. The shirt itself is v-necked, kind of cap, no. The sleeves are a little shorter than my personal liking, but I can work with it. Typically, I like the sleeve a little longer, like right in here, but I can deal with this. The uh, shirt itself is just a skull and there's Christmas lights interwoven throughout him. And I mean, it's pretty decent length, not that you can see, but the shirt is big on me. It is a three, but I like it. It fits me perfectly the way I want it to fit. Um, I could definitely have went with a two, but again, we know how I am with shirts. I don't like anything tight on me and this is perfect. <laughs> However, why is it only me that this stuff happens to? Uh, when I go to get the shirt and the girl's asking me what size I want and she's telling me what's available, everything was available but a two. But again, I wouldn't have got a two regardless just because of how I am. So I was like, okay, I'll do a three. And she was like, okay, so a four? I'm like, no, a three's fine. And she turns and she grabs and she goes, I got a four. And I'm like, a three, I know my damn size, okay? What are you trying to say here? When I used to come in this place, yes, you could have threw the four at me and I would have uh, not have, you know, hesitated in the least. But no, I am a three now, dadgummit. <laughs> Don't be trying to push me back in a four. I signed up for Gish earlier this year, and if you don't know what Gish is, Google it. Nisha Collins from Supernatural started it, but as an incentive, they were given um, an opportunity for Nisha Collins to contact someone if you bought something from their shop, and so I bought this shirt just as a long stretch. I knew I probably wouldn't be the winner, but hey, 
you gotta take those shots, man. So I finally received this shirt this uh, Thanksgiving weekend. It came in and I was super stoked to get it because I remember when I selected it, the design was adorable. It had a Castiel catchphrase that I love and I was like, yes, want that shirt. So when I ordered it, I asked for a 3X. Uh, that is not the shirt I received. But just to verify that I did order a 3X, you can see on this page here, right there, 3X. This shirt is an XXL. What's the difference? Well, obviously, 2X versus 3. But not even that. An XXL is a Mrs. size. A 3X would be considered a plus size. Now, even an XXL and a 2X are completely different shirts. An XXL, again, misses. A 2X would be considered plus size. A plus size is obviously going to be made for a plus size body, whereas an XXL is for misses. And uh, 2X is just going to be bigger. It's going to be looser. It's going to have more room to it. So even that, I still got the wrong shirt. If they only went with XXXL, XXLs, all those, then this shirt should be an XXXL, not an XXL, because I asked for a three. So that being said, the shirt came wrong to start with. It fits, obviously, I have it on, but am I going to actually wear this out and about? Probably not, because I'm going to be uncomfortable. Why, you may ask? Well, if you are a subscriber or new, then go watch vlog three where um, I go to Torrid and it's why does it take me so long to try on clothes? You'll understand. I don't like anything tight on me. And when I sit, this shirt is going to form to me. It's going to be tight on my stomach. And I don't want that out on display. You, um, we've been established. I don't like tight clothing. So even though the shirt fits, see, it's adorable. It's got a donkey with butterfly wings. And it's got Castiel's catchphrase. <laughs> it is sleeveless. And while it does fit, the issue is when I go to sit, it's going to get snug across me. And I just don't like that. And it's very disappointing that, and, and, and it wouldn't matter even if it was the 3X. Well, yeah, it would matter because it would, it would fit perfectly if it was the XXL like I requested to start with. But even still, the shirt, I wasn't impressed with the quality. And I'm really disappointed by that because I, I don't know. I just thought it would be better quality. Even though it was a $20 shirt, I don't know. It's just one of those standard stock mass-produced shirts that they can put whatever designs on. It's not the best quality. It's kind of scratchy. It Nothing like my culture fly boxes, those shirts. Oh, they are so soft and comfortable. This, I mean, it's adorable design, but just quality-wise, feel-wise, it, it's not there, unfortunately, and I hate that. And by Target and found this dress. It was in the clearance section for like 15 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I'll get that. It is the Exhilaration brand. It's in an XXL. It is sleeveless, v-necked. We have a clasp that allows this to open if you so choose or if you want to close it. We do have, it is a wrap dress. So the tie is over here. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a little bit of that shark bite type of dress where the ends are longer and the front and back are a little shorter. But in order to make this winter appropriate, all I'm doing is pairing it with some black leggings and boots. So I went to Kato's and picked up this jumpsuit. Yes, jumpsuit, you heard me right. Uh, I've always tried this on every time I went in Kato's, but I was never going to buy it because of the price tag. I was like, I'm just going to buy that for a jumpsuit. And it's in the clearance section, so guess who picked it up? That's right, I did. 15 bucks. I know how to wait. This is in a, an uh, 18W. It is a, what is this, mock neck? And it has sleeveless. Why do you continue to get sleeveless things? I will never understand. It has a belt. It is obviously black and then it transforms into this black and gray and white and brown striped pant. I love the vertical stripes. We have pockets. 
again the belt the only issues is this is just slightly long um but like i said for 15 bucks i was like your girl can figure out how to hem a pair of pants for 15 bucks but honestly you guys i'm really loving this like did i finally find a jumpsuit did we find one 